start off with what even is go-go dancing um, I'm gonna like look up the definition and enter it over here somewhere but to me it's a form of freestyle dance very high energy freestyle dance to keep it simple short sweet and simple so with that being said it's kind of hard to teach since it is freestyle it's not like I'm teaching you a specific choreography or like dance moves or a combo like how traditional dance is taught um, this is just yeah it's all freestyle meaning that you make up the dance so I'm just gonna try my best to give you guys some tips that'll be helpful um, a good foundation like good foundations where you can build up your own moves your own style because I think that's really important with go-go dancing is to have your own your own unique style that's what sets you apart from other dancers so definitely don't watch other dancers and try to dance exactly like them make it your own style okay so one of the most important aspects of go-go dancing is musicality you have to be able to really listen to the music and you know flow to it a lot of times when we are dancing, whether it be in a nightclub or a concert, festival, wherever, we don't know what we're dancing to. It's literally just random music. So unless I already know that song, I don't know what I'm dancing to. I don't know what song's going to come up next. So it's up to me to be musical and just kind of flow with whatever is playing and it sounds really simple, but actually it's a really hard thing to do. So one of the exercises that I like to do to help with that is put my music playlist on shuffle because I have all types of different genres on there. I have like over 2000 songs on my Spotify playlist. So I'll put that on shuffle and I will just freestyle dance to it to kind of like test myself and my musicality. This is also really important because you don't want to just train and practice to one genre of dance. That's where I messed up when I first became a dancer. I only wanted to dance to EDM, so I didn't know how to dance to other genres of music. And now that I, I am an experienced go-go dancer, I've danced to like metal, country, pop, EDM, Latin, like hip hop, all genres of dance. So it's important to, you know, really practice to all genres don't put yourself in one box be versatile okay another important thing um, this isn't really gonna matter until you become a performer but for now I want you guys to practice being spatially aware and what that means is being aware of your surroundings and I know you're probably thinking well like what the heck I'm just practicing in my living room like there's there's nothing to be aware of. But so when you actually become a go-go dancer, we dance on very small areas most of the time. So like elevated platforms, bar tops, which can be slippery, um, stages that have like wires everywhere or just props. So you have to really be aware of your surroundings so you won't fall or your costuming sometimes can get caught on stuff or there's people walking around and you don't want to hit them. Um, so go ahead and practice in a small space. Even if you're practicing in a big dance studio or like your entire big living room, I want you to kind of train yourself to dance in a small space. And that's not, not all places are going to have small spaces to dance on, but I just want you guys to go ahead and train that way. That way you are prepared because I have seen dancers fall off of bar tops. I've seen dancers fall off of go-go boxes and they are pretty high up, okay? And most of the time we're dancing in like high heels or just really crazy hard to dance in costumes. So I don't want that to happen to you guys. So I just wanna prepare you now. So this is another really big important thing. Um, you could be the best dancer in the world, but if you don't have what is called stage presence, then, you know, 
I don't really know what to say. <laughs> so yeah, you could be super technical, dance so beautiful, but if your face is just like zero emotion or you zone out or you look, you know, like you're not having a good time, then people are really going to notice that. So I really want you guys to practice what is called stage presence. So play with your facial expressions, um, smile, be sassy. If the style of whatever style of music you're dancing to embody that music. So when I'm dancing hip hop, I'm just like, you know, a little sassy. When I'm dancing pop, I'm really like bubbly and smiley. And also when you are auditioning, that's kind of what sets you apart from other people. And especially when you are auditioning at festivals that do character work, this is something that they really, really look for. So if you can, try to try to bring that stage presence with your facial expressions, um, any way that you can, just your attitude, your overall, yeah, just your overall presence. Okay, another thing is slow down. Okay, even if you think you're going slow, go even slower. I don't know why, and even, you know, I used to think this. I feel like dancers think the faster you're going, the better you're dancing, and that is just not true. I mean, it can be if you are executing the movements correctly and nice and sharp and clean, but usually when we go really fast, it's hard to keep those movements nice and clean and straight, and it just ends up looking so sloppy and ugly i'm sorry it looks terrible it looks ugly you know what you look like you look like if if i were to spray a cockroach with raid and you know they're just like that's what y'all look like <laughs> so for a typical go go dancing audition this is what you will be wearing it's gonna be black typically all black shorts black crop top black heels um, minimal makeup usually hair will be up or down you just want to look very neutral no bright colors no crazy outfits because the judges just want to see you very neutral kind of like a blank canvas so that they know what they're working with all right and now before we get started into actually dancing please make sure that you have already stretched and warmed up that way you don't pull anything and so you feel nice and ready so we are going to start off just moving our hips for now kind of loosening up our body then we're going to do our arms just play around with your arms play around with some fluid movements make it very pretty and fluid and then start incorporating all parts of your body, head to toe, our arms, our hips, even our facial expressions. All right, so go-go dancing is going to be, since you know we are confined to a small space, go-go dancing is a lot of big, exaggerated movements, mostly with the arms. Nice, pretty, flowy, exaggerated, dramatic, movements very posy so this might feel a little stupid but i want you guys to practice posing first so we're going to pretend like we're on america's next top model okay you want to be on top <laughs> practice your poses i know it, it feels stupid now but just give me a minute because this is going to make sense here here soon so once we have our poses down we are going to put it together all together into a dance so I have um, four different genres here that I will be dancing to today, and these are the four most popular genres that I've noticed are used in um, just like my go-go dancing career. So first, I'm going to start with pop music. And with pop music, you want to think like you're in a music video, so very posy, kind of sassy, um, sharp movements.
stem, which is also a lot of sharp movements. You want to hit those beats. Um, you want to be nice and flowy whenever the beat is building up or if they have nice slow vocals. Um, and then you want to go, you want to go hard when it, when the beat drops, right? Very big dramatic movements for EDM. Um, I personally find EDM very tiring to dance to for that reason is because it's like slow, 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 slow. And then you're like, fuck it up. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Okay, and then we have Latin, which is one of my personal favorites. This is going to have a lot of hip movements and isolation. Lots of flowy arms, and even down to the fingers, you want to make sure that your even your fingers are nice and dainty. You don't want to have like awkward <laughs> fingers. You know how they say point your toes, like in dance class? Point your fingers. Latin is also very sassy. Lots of sass, hair flips, attitude. Oh my God, yeah, don't hair flip like that. <laughs> We want cute hair flips, not whatever that was. Hip-hop. I love hip-hop as well. Hi, baby Callie. Um, hip-hop is also a lot of isolated movements, but they're going to be more pops, like chest pops, hip pops, um, playing with levels a lot. I, I do a lot of like squatted movements in hip-hop um, and even some floor work twerking if your venue allows it because I know a lot of gigs don't like twerking. I love twerking. I feel like if it can be done in a tasteful manner then go for it. <laughs> guys thanks so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed my video and i hope that you guys were able to learn and get some useful information out of it i'm sorry that it's it's really hard to teach freestyle dancing but i hope that you know this helped like i said it's really hard to teach freestyle considering that it is freestyle it's all up to you and you know you gotta like make up your own moves and your own style but hopefully i provided you with the foundations and some useful tips that'll help you um, create your own unique style and flow much luck to you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video